Welcome, Flip Clock fans. Uh, this is Mackie with FlipClockFans.com. Uh, here we've got something that a lot of uh, Flip Clock fans would like to see. Look at that. A Flip Clock for $2 from Goodwill. Actually, it was $2 and some change, and they talked me into rounding it up to $3 because I'm a chump. So I got this for $3. Now I'm glad to support Goodwill. But, uh, so, but not so fast. I've got some issues with the clock. Uh, the clock's got some cracking here because some knucklehead tried to take this off improperly. Uh, that would be me. Um, and it's uh, it's got some other issues. The there's a flip. There's some flip tall. There's a flip tall missing. Uh, you can't see it right here. But what I thought I'd do. I know I'm going to use this for parts. So what I thought I'd do is give you a quick review. And basically, I'm going to focus on how to disassemble this little clock properly so you don't break anything. So the first thing you need to do is to remove these two screws that are gone. I've already removed them. So you remove those screws. The other thing that really flummoxed me for a while was how to get the stopper that holds the cord in place out. Now what the stopper looks like is this little bugger right here. And what you see is the... Um, got a hair on me, sorry. But what you see is the... Uh, there's a little tab here and I figured if I if I push this tab in and then somehow push that back into the clock it would release that cord well you know that the stopper is to stop the cord from being pulled out so I thought that made sense to me well in fact what you do is you can go ahead and you push in this little tab and then pry it out okay and then it'll come free fairly quickly and that allow you to get the clock out so the really the only thing left now is how do you get this face off and um, if you look under here you'll see a tab you can try to push that tab but it's not very it's not that's not a good way to do it so if you can look real c more closely and I'll get what uh, my wife calls the mommy screwdriver I'm gonna tell you I use the butter knife more than anything with these clocks um, if you look closely it's very hard to see but you're gonna see right up from that tab there's a little indention here you can take that in here like this you pry up gently carefully and out it's, it's just like that it's really simple and then you can pull the whole mechanism will come out you just keep feeding the wire through it's a very simple disassembly again when you're doing this take your time don't force anything all i did was slide that in there in a slight downward pressure and it, it came right out as you saw. If yours doesn't come right out, then stop what you're doing immediately. Um, nice little compact uh, copal. Um, the little motor seems to be in good shape, but uh, I'm probably not going to restore this clock just because of the various issues. Um, I've cracked this a little bit when I was manhandling it, but that could probably be fixed. And I don't like that crack there, but I've got some parts now. So there's a little. Uh, tutorial for you. Uh, keep checking out Goodwill and let me know if you find anything good. Uh, thanks and come visit us at flipclockfans.com.